So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So another bike review. This time we are going to showcase one of the most talked about cars at the Manila International Auto Show. This is the bike B80 Wagon. Yeah, it looks like that, but that's all I'm gonna say for now. So again, special thanks to Bike Alabang, the first ever bike dealership here in the Philippines for making this review possible. And to Sir Tiny, again, who is not so tiny. After all, you may contact him and inquire for more bike vehicles here. I just recently toured to the X7 crossover, one of my favorites. And hopefully I can do more bike reviews here too in the future. So back with this B80 wagon. I mean, yeah, as I mentioned, it looks like that. But there's a lot more to it than meets the eye, I would have to say. Get a ground clearance of 215 plus millimeters. The departure angle is pretty high. So again, going over the steepest of hills, rocks, mountains, this will just do the job. And two, you get LED lights and halogen fog lamps all around this vehicle. You get gloss black here too on the grill itself pretty unique for what this is since this is the only one in this class i guess if you don't include the german and the other Jap very small japanese uh, off-roader so despite to being a 4x4 off-roader you get 20 inch all around this vehicle running on cooper tires pretty interesting so this is i assume an all-terrain tire so hopefully you can test this out in the future on how this performs and two you get electronic adjustments for the side mirrors and your repeaters are just down here below which is pretty unique and pairing this thing another big talking point with this b80 wagon and this is how you open the vehicle to pretty much the same like with the german counterpart so this one is powered by a whopping 3 liter turbocharged v6 engine that produces 280 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque and this one is mated to an 8 speed automatic transmission in the chinese market or some other markets where bike is available they have the Cummins 2.8 liter diesel engine but it's pretty surprising that they brought the V6 engine which I think is more in tune with this vehicle. So again, I really can't wait to drive this because this is one of the biggest engines you can get here in the bike lineup. Now here at the rear of the bike B80, again looks the same like with this German counterpart. So this is your spare tire like per usual. A lot of badges now here too with this B80 so you get your NG designation over here, the model number. In other markets, this is actually called BG80, not B80. So, for obvious reasons, you know why it's taken out. So, open this boot up. Right, open sideways too, like with its uh, German and the Japanese counterparts. You have a lot of boot space still. I mean, I can go inside here with this. I'm already off camera. And here you have a 12 volt socket on the left side, along too with halogen. Uh, halogen right only here where my side is on the left. And then a cubby space over here, a 220 volt outlet, which could come in handy. And two, you get a very thin tonneau cover, but hey, at least there still is. And finally, it will double, of course, when you fold all of the seats down. Remember, this is not a completely flat floor, uh, but it's still pretty much practical. Tending hooks, too, on either side in case you want to uh, carry tall and very, very heavy items. So that's about it here, too, with the rear. Let's check out the interior. So this is the interior of the bike B80. So here in the door card, again pretty unique for what this is. Here are your window switches and their lights too within in the door handle on either side of the door and even further down below for your uh, cubby spaces and cup holders. And once you close this, mm -hmm, it sounds exactly the same like with the German cut. Oh, okay. You get memory seat functions here too would uh, the seats and the seats are all brown and they're all plush leather and then all of the memory buttons and electronic adjustments are here too on the left side so here in the interior overall wow this actually looks pretty cool for my liking so you get a lot of uh, leather here and nice what I don't even know what this is silver and white sticks that stretches all the way to the right side of the passenger yeah pretty premium uh, for this uh, bike B80 I, li I, I like it here on the left side you get your light controls here in the middle you get a 10.25 inch instrument panel pretty responsive for what this is it's pretty clear and and all that too okay the infotainment system though it's kind of small at least though you still have car bit mirror link no Apple CarPlay and Android Auto I won't be able to demo it that much because there are some Apps that are set still in Chinese so hopefully in the future we'll probably demo this and then here the steering wheel okay pretty chunky and the leather is pretty 
plus too. I love all the touchy points here and there. Then you get your cruise control and instrument cluster adjustments on the left side and on the right side you get your navigation and phone connectivity functions along too with your voice command. Okay, pretty good. And then further down here in the middle, there's a lot of buttons over here for your radios, for heat and seat ventilations, air conditioning controls and all that. I wasn't expecting this to have seat ventilations whatsoever no wonder this is the most expensive bike you can get here in the philippines with good reason too so further down open this tray up you get two usb ports a 12 volt socket and two cup holders too i think enough for small cups and bottles only then here glove box pretty tiny but at least there's a light just inside the center console itself you get your gear shift and a lot of controls for your diving modes and for your four-wheel drive functions too remember this is a very capable 4x4 i really cannot wait to test this out on how good this thing is manual handbrake here and another cubby space or cup holder i don't know but it's pretty big enough for small bottles and then open the center console up there's two of them one small one on this other lever opens a bigger one with an aux cord i assume and a usb port i know uh, sorry that's an hdmi port so i think you can play stuff here in the uh infotainment system as mentioned above here you get halogen lights sunroof controls sunglasses holder and speaking of the sunroof is only here for the front passengers but i don't mind it since i'm gonna be the one driving most of the time sun visor you get a vanity mirror with halogen lights yet again oh why why but I mean, it's big enough at least. There was supposed to extend. Right, so that's about here in front of this bike B80. Let's check out the rear seats. So this is the rear seats of the bike B80. So here in the door card, pretty much the same like the ones in front in terms of materials only. But you get an additional button here for reclining the seats forwards and backwards. I've never seen that layout. Right, that applies uh, on either left and right side of the seat. But as you can see, since this can fold 60-40, yeah. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. You can lock the car here too from the rear. And space here in the back is not that bad at all for a 4x4. I have enough knee and feet room and my headroom. That's actually quite a lot. There's a, like a bit large hump over here. And that's to accommodate the sunroof. And above here, you get halogen lights once again. Funny, you can open it both ways like with this flick of a switch or the lights itself and get net storages behind both front seats and here in the middle you get two air conditioning vents seat warmers only sadly and then you get an ashtray along too with a 12 volt socket and here in the middle you get a central armrest with two pop out cup holders and i just saw now there's an extra cubby space here just enough for phones and the seats here overall pretty much the same like the ones in front it's all brown it's very plush and if i sit here in the middle not too bad but the feet room for once you have the center console stuck in front along too with the transmission since this is an 8-speed it has to be all the way up to accommodate all the ground clearance if you want to play with this off-road so yeah that's about it here with this uh, bike b80 so as i mentioned in front this is one of the most expensive bikes you can get this one stands at four million three hundred and ninety eight thousand pesos so with discounts this is the price now i would say it's pretty much worth it since you don't have to spend like double or even triple with the german counterpart i am actually impressed with this bike b80 wagon so hopefully we can dive this soon hopefully so again i would like to thank bike alabang and to sir tiny who's not that tiny at all for making this walk around reviews possible so if you want to check out my other bike review the x7 grand i forgot sorry <laughs> the x7 crossover check it out on my channel and an upcoming test day review hopefully soon with the by b60 biomon i don't know how to pronounce that sorry so that's it hope you guys like and subscribe and i will see you with more car reviews and more racing videos. Bye-bye.